I do feel like the kind of storytelling that I do um, is somehow uh, independent of the, of, the, of the technology that delivers it. Um, I mean, I do happen to work on the radio, and I'm a guy who likes sound, so in that sense, this technology does suit me. Uh, but I feel like storytellers are like, um, they're kind of like shamans in a way. Uh, and that your job as a, as a storyteller is to kind of create a circle of connection um, that might as well be thousands of years ago around a campfire in some sense. Like your job is to induce a kind of dream state between people, which is I think where the stories live. The good stories are in a kind of collective dream state. Uh, and so um, even though Radiolab uses millions of layers and weird noises that are kind of interlapping and crazy sort of like counterpoint. I do feel like in some sense we're doing something that's very old. It's ancient. Um, it just so happens that my voice contains all the bleeps and the bloops and the strange things that this technology enables. Um, and I, I do feel like that's a crutch sometimes. I really do. I mean, there's something amazing about a person getting on stage like almost naked and, you know, in front of an audience and just with their voice inducing that dream state. Um, something magical about that. Uh, for me, someone who doesn't quite feel comfortable doing that, getting on stage, this technology allows me to have that voice. You know, there's some crazy things you can do now, uh, crazy synthesis techniques um, where you can you can use any source to create these big long drones and soundscapes. Um, and I use that stuff all the time. You know, what I'll do, one of my favorite little things uh, to do in scoring the show is to take a bit of someone's voice that was just in the segment and maybe just like the ch on a, on a, on a syllable. And using various things, you can sort of s almost grab it with two hands and stretch it and make it a mile long and create these like sh strange kind of uh, landscapes um, that are weirdly familiar. They, they sound a weirdly like the voice still. And so I love playing with that kind of stuff. And there's all kinds of new technology within sound creation. Um, and I, every single one of it, I, t I use it all.